Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here. Welcome back to some more Kenshi. Today, we're probably gonna try and build some things in our huts. Mainly, I think, a research bench. We'll see about that. But first, um, let me uh, just go to work, so to speak. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, basically just do some, some mining right now so we can get some more uh, uh, money. For the most part, uh, where do we need to go? Let me check. Uh, da, 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 da. I always forget where that mine is. It's over here, the copper mine. And also, um, thank you very much, um, Carlos Eduardo, for that great comment on the first video. It was really, really helpful. Um, I'm just going to go over a few things that you said, just to see that I got this right. So, first you said, copper is more valuable than iron. Yes, indeed, that is good to know. Um, but iron actually helps training strength since it's a bunch heavier than copper. So I guess if you want, to, if I want to train strength, I will have to haul iron all day long. Although apparently I get hung, more hungry from that. And then um, KO systems. I have essential body parts: head, torso, and stomach. If they go bye bye, I'm dead, <laughs> which is good. Um, well, actually, I'm KO'd for a certain amount of time. Dep and it all is apparently depending on... Where it is? Toughness. So, yeah, there you can see health KO point. That's probably what you meant, right? Minus 10. So, if I go on minus 10, that will be... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. You wake up only if essential body parts are not below the KO threshold. Which is that minus 10, I believe. So, if, if it goes to there, I will not wake up again. Good to know. And then you also said, always avoid fights until you get a group of uh, five of about five people. I can see that. I, I, I can see that very well. I, <laughs> I probably wouldn't dare to fight at this point in time. I mean, I, as I said, on my other save, I, I did one fight, 2v1, and I still almost got one of my guys killed. So, yeah. I, th I, I think I will not do this mindless fighting in this game. I really don't think so. Exploration is a really good way to find loot and train your athletics. So that we might do that uh, on an episode. Just, you know, uh, buy yourself some, some, some uh, rations and stuff. And just go out and explore. And try to find, I don't know, abandoned huts. Or, or uh, what, I don't know what. And just try to see the world. Um, it's recommended that you don't make a base until you're pretty stocked up with combat capable group. And I think you mean a base outside. I, I would just assume that, right? I mean, building inside... Well, you cannot really build a base inside a city. I, yeah. I, 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 I get it. So yeah, apparently if you build outside, you're going to get your ass raided. <laughs> Which, you know, kind of makes sense, right? If you're easy pickings, why wouldn't they raid you? Um, let me just sell these. There we go. Let's go to sleep and I will go over a few more things that you said. Because... Honestly, it, comments like these really make it a lot more easier to, to play a game like this. Because, my god, the game is really complicated. Wait, where did these mattresses go? What? Where did the mattresses go? That's weird. Well, I'm going to sleep over there. That's fine. Um, so, hold on. Let me just do that. Let's see. Um... On the topic of having a basis in city, it's a really good idea to get a place to sort all your stuff and generally to be get generally safe. However, if you need a bed, you can rent beds from inns. Yeah, right. I, that's what I figured. And it costs about 100 cats per night. Oh, so the price is like per hour or something, I suppose? All right. And then lastly, you said crafted items are generally worth a lot of money. More money than straight up mining. So I guess if you... Um, can I even craft something at this point? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Crafting. Oh, I guess... How to craft? Oh, that's a new tutorial. To craft items, you need to... There are actually tutorials in this game. They pop up once you do something new, so that's kind of good. Um, craft items, you need to build a workbench from the crafting section of your building menu. First things you need... First things first, though, you're going to need to research all of the necessary building equipment and schematics. Build a research bench. Ah, yes, that's what we had to, uh, in in planning today anyway. So that works out uh, actually quite great, this. Very nice. So, yeah. Um, and then you also said the first kind of items we will craft are going to be shit and not worth a lot of money, but we will get better at it. So I kind of like that. And also, yeah, you let me know that Kenshi is 
indeed set in a post-apocalyptic world. And, interestingly enough, sex does matter in this game. So if you choose to be male or female has impact, apparently, because there are sexist and racist people in this game. Which I, I do love that. That gives the world a bit more flavor, you know? And also, back in the day, I remember distinctively there... Is he sitting on me? <laughs> well, I guess I kind of went sleeping under him. Oh, uh, well. Um, I distinctively remember playing a few RPGs back in the day where your, your gender that you chose not only had impact on how people reacted to you, but actually the genders had different stats too. You know, it was very generic. You know, like the male had more constitution and strength and the females had more uh, like intelligence and willpower and stuff like that. Or social skills, charisma, or something like that. And I always find that very interesting, you know? But uh, if you, I, I have the feeling if you would do that today, like, uh, you, you would get hashtag cancelled immediately. <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of people who have problems with these kind of things. So, let's just mine some more and hope we don't get in trouble. And then we're going to buy ourselves some building materials and build ourselves a workbench. So yeah, again, uh, Carlos, uh, Eduardo, thank you very much uh, for your help. I was really appreciated. Um, I'll, t <laughs> I'll try to do a few of the things and keep them in mind as I go along. Again, I, I think that the exploring thing I should do like next episode if I can get to it. Because I really want to see a bit more of this world. So far, I've only seen this bit here, and I've already been kind of enchanted by it, to be honest. You know, just by the sheer amount of craziness that can happen in this uh, kind of world. So, I think next time we'll um, probably... Maybe we should uh, take a trip down to Squin. I think it's called Squin, right? Squin. And see what that is all about. I don't even know from a scale point of view how far that is away, to be honest. I don't know if that is like in... A five-minute journey? An hour? I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's the cool thing about it. Um, I mean, we still have, we already have some, some decent athletics and laboring, so we should be able... Well, athletics is more, more important for that. We should be able to get there, you know, in time. Oh, gee. Oh, it's dying. Oh, it's bleeding to death and it cannot get out. Oh, we might want to have... Uh, want to keep a lookout on this. Maybe we can loot it if it's dead. Ah, huh. might get some free stuff over there. Who knows? Maybe food or something. How cool would that be? I mean, we get a freebie like that? Why not? Actually, its chest is... That's interesting. The chest is healing. Oh, actually, they're both healing. That is curious. Why is this healing? Very interesting, but it lost a lot of blood. I mean, Jesus, look at that. <laughs> oh, poor beast. Almost feel bad for it. Almost. Oh! I would say bandits! Bandit alert! Run away! Run away! Run away and hide. Can I sneak? I think I can sneak. Um, wait, there is sneaking somewhere. Sneak! There we go. I think if I... Oh, I've never done this. By toggling the sneak button, you're entering stealth mode. This mode, you can perform stealth knockouts, kidnaps, and steal stuff. Ooh. The stealth cursor displays two icons, the eyeball and the sun. When the eyeball is red, that means you're in view of nearby NPCs. When the eyeball is blue, that means you're currently out of anyone's line of sight. The sun icon shows a light level. When the sun sh is shaded, you're at your least visible. Hint, nightfall is prime time for sneaking. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, sneaking is easier when it's dark. <laughs> uh, to, it's not like in Skyrim, if you have like a high stealth, or I think in the previous Elder Scroll installments was even worse. If you have a high sneak value, you basically could, in broad daylight, sneak in front of a guard and they wouldn't notice. Um, yeah, to perform a stealth knockout, right-click on the NPC while sneaking. The percentages show the chance of success. The higher your assass assassination skill, the higher the chance. Ah, I see. To kidnap a KO'd NPC, the hold right kick onto them and select kidnap from the command menu. Interesting. Ah, there you go. So that means I'm out of sight, but the sun does indicate that this is a quite crappy light level. Interesting. 
<laughs> That's interesting. The, I can see the bandits have athletics four. He's, they're not very athletic in in uh, in comparison to us. We have athletic nine. That's a bit better. Not not much, but a bit. Which should probably mean that we. Oh crap! They're coming in our direction. Run. Or maybe not. But still, basically run. Taunt. The character will make himself offense. What? The character will make offensive, noisy, and conspicuous. What? In an attempt to draw more of the enemy to attack him. Oh, great. You're going to shout profanities at the enemy? Come here, you freaking idiot. Ha-ha. <laughs> Your mother was a ogre or something. I don't know. What is what is appropriate uh, um, insult in this world? <laughs> Your mother pulls catapults on, on, on TV. No, wait. Well, this is a post-apocalyptic world. I don't know if they know catapults here. Maybe cannons, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, let's just um, grab some more copper here and then we'll uh, begin construction on our workbench. Alright, come on. Mine a bit faster, will ya? Oh, whoops. Damn it. Uh, are we mining? There we are. I'm playing a lot of different games uh, uh, right now, so... And they all kind of handle differently. So here you turn camera with, with the middle mouse button. In, in the other game I'm playing, it's uh, the, the right mouse button. So oh, sometimes it's really complicated. Sometimes I really wish all the games would have you know the same standard configuration. I guess I could kind of edit it so that it's the same in every game. But I'm, too, I'm way too lazy to do that. I'm, I'd rather just complain about it, to be honest. <laughs> that is the right way to do it. Don't do anything about it, just complain. <laughs> That's first world problems in a nutshell, I think. Um, so, let's see, how much more do we get here? One more copper and then we're done. And we can get ourselves... Oh yeah, there's a dust store going on right now, which actually affects us. It makes it uh, harder to attack. And apparently I can wear protective gear to mitigate that. I guess... Um, the one fellow in the one house had like a gas mask or something. I guess that would kind of help. Who? Who are you? Escaped slave. What? Dust bandit. Is he just a normal dust bandit or? Did I just sneak past him? Did that just happen? Also, I wasn't sure. It says escaped slave. Situation. Scene. Looks like a slave. Zero percent. Time remaining. Eleven hours. As, as a slave... What? A slave of slave traders has been seen escaping. Needs to lay low for the day and avoid getting... Spo oh, was that this guy that we just saw running down here? Is this like an event or something? Will there be a, a bunch of slavers coming through in the next few minutes? How interesting. How very, very interesting. Hmm. Also, don't we look sneaky? Yeah, let's not sneak around town. That looks uh, suspicious. All right. I think for a research workbench, we need about, um, I think, three building components, I believe. Which he has quite a lot. What else does he have? Steel bars? Skeleton repair kit. Interesting. Some bolts. Yeah, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, right. So, actually, we'll get some more. Uh, I like that. I like the, the dried meat. Can that go bad, by the way? I don't think so, right? Food in this game cannot go bad. It's not like that hardcore survival, is it? Because that, that is something that annoys me a, lo a lot of survival games. That food goes bad in like five minutes or something. It's really annoying. Okay. Oh, we didn't buy the... Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just check out how much we need. So let's open this door. And go inside. And go to this mode here. So, here, um, let's go to... I think it's under tech. Small research bench. There we go. So... A research bench is vital to enabling new weapons and technologies. This little one will fit in a small shack. It is good for getting started out. Now, 
when you build this, you can see there's these little like human icons around it. And I guess this is the amount of people that could work this workbench, if I got this correct. So if you want, you can place it like this, but then two people less can work it. Or if you go like this, four people less. Now, since I'm kind of a freak when it comes to placing things, I probably will place it in a, in a corner. But um, we'll see. So let's see. We need to um, rotate this a little bit. Like, I don't know, like this maybe? Now let's just put it in a corner like this. There we go. And now we need to confirm. There we go. So yes, this needs three building materials. So we're going to gather ourselves some building materials over here. And then we'll take a look at how researching actually works in this game. It's, it's, it's quite a simple process, really. I like it. And it goes faster if you get uh, more people, obviously. So, let's get one. Let's get two. Let's get three. There we go. I hope we'll never build something with uh, like a hundred of these components. I'm going to get mad at running these back and forth, to be honest. And we got about uh, 7,000 gold, which is kind of good. We got a good uh, good amount of uh, resources here. So now, we'll uh, just let him work. We'll close the door, just in case. Oh, work. Work faster. You can see, it. it's really like in these old RTSs where the buildings just, you know, get skinned from the, the bottom to the top. I like it. There we go. So... Show research. There we go. And I think I can put probably like some blueprints in there to to get um, to research them. But generally speaking, what you will do is um, let me pause here real quick. You go to the tech menu, this one, and then you have a research queue. And over here, you have different types of research that you can do. Now, some of them have prerequisites. Um, or actually, oh, I see, they cost books. Oh, that's what the books are for. Ah, I see, that's why they're red. So, for example, I would need three books to research this. I see, I see. So, yeah, generally speaking, you have these ones that are white, the ones you can research, and you'll see gear storage takes two hours, item storage, two hours, public sales, two hours. And then down here, you have a little uh, description what it does. So, for example, um, gear storage uh, is storage for various types of weapons and armor. And it unlocks a lot of new building stuff like armor storage, weapon storage, weapon cabinets, bolt box, and crossbow locker. And public sales. Um, it would save us a lot of running around to sell goods if we could get the customer to come to us. So this basically would allow us to build a shop counter. Now, I don't think we should do this right now because we cannot, we can barely craft anything. So... Yeah, I think something that is really good is this uh, general item storage. I think that is good. So if we find something interesting, we can store it. Let's see. There's fabric manufacture. There's some defense stuff, makeshift walls. This is probably rather for if you're outside building stuff, I would say. There's fuel generator, wind generator, indoor lighting. There's some farming stuff, industry Storage boxes for different stuff. Smithing, hats and... Oh, there's the crafting thing, I, w I think, right? Ah, oh, yeah, clothing, clothing bench, rack, loincloth, rack shirt, material, artist's bindings. I see, that's the things that I want, I think. But yeah, you can see, we need basic weapon smithing for basic weapon grades. And there's pre prerequisite requirements and sometimes there's a cost to these things so yeah um let's just um research item storage right now so basically i just click on this and then you will see you will start researching and you can see over here the uh the bar will go up slowly now this also has its, uh, its associated skill it's called science and this will obviously if you research more it will go up so now we'll just have to wait two in-game hours well, yeah, two in-game hours. We can skip them, of course, a little bit. And, um, yeah, we just, uh, we'll get item storage out of that. Now, just uh, as it with the other things that you do, like mining and stuff, this will get slower during the evening. You will get a penalty to that. Now, I have technically a science skill of two, and now it's down to one. That's not really a big penalty, I suppose. 
So we'll just keep working for at least for now. And then we'll, once we have that, we'll go to bed. But yeah, this is basically how you do it. And if I had some more people, I could just add some more to make this faster. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. You know, generally speaking, how that system works and how you um, then unlock new stuff based on what you're researching. I do like that a lot. And done. So now, if we go in here, um, storage. Now we have an animal feeder, a food storage that you can put outside for your animals to get their own food from. A food storage, general storage for all food items. Character can come get here. Oh, this is probably more for if you go into automating your thing. So you put food in here, and your your other workers will automatically know. Oh yeah, there's food there. I can go go and get it. General storage boxes. We probably want some of those. General storage chest. You can store anything in here. Yeah, probably want some of those. And metal chest. You can store anything in here. Oh, these use iron plates, and this uses just building materials. So you know what? Um, we will uh, build ourselves a chest, I think, as well. You know, so we have something to store things in, right? And hope that nobody will come and steal our stuff. I don't even know if that's possible. Is it possible if you leave your door unlocked that somebody will come in and steal your things? Or is it generally possible that people come and steal your stuff? You know, like, is there thieves in this game that come and steal your things? I wonder. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll go to sleep for now. And tomorrow we'll get ourselves another building material and build that storage box. And also, I will really quickly pop over to this house because there are some things in there that we actually can take. Which is not considered stealing for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yes, I do really enjoy this game, I have to say. You know, just the way it's built, all these systems that are in the game, I do dig it a lot. This is... I don't know why I didn't play it for so long. I had this in my library for about half a year, I think. And just now that I thought about it, what should I play, it, it came to mind again. It's kind of weird, because I really love it. There's our Naruto cat. Rum! It's very detailed, this game, is it? But it's empty, is it? Yeah, it's empty. Oh! Probably was blowing some smoke in his face, so he changed position. <laughs> There's... Ancient Mr. Shinobi Man? He's hungry. They're both hungry. I hope they don't steal from me. That would be bad. Nothing happening, though, right now. No bandits. No slave traders. Nothing. Hmm. That's probably for the better, to be honest. I don't want to get robbed during the night if I, if I could choose. Also, I really like the, the skybox in this game. It's kind of kind of interesting. You have the uh, like the dual planets over there and I I mean either this is a huge freaking planet or it's way too close, but yeah. Probably should affect our gravity on this planet if it's so close, but oh uh, well. All right. Let's get one more building material and uh, finish up that chest. And then I actually think then we'll already be done for today. That was a good we, we, you know, technically we did not a lot, but I think we got some progress in some way, you know? We're now basically ready for everything. We can research stuff, in that, you know, if there's some downtime, if we have to wait for something. Um, we can... We can still mine if we want to. We can still... Uh, we can go out and explore. Especially if we have this box ready, you know, we can store some stuff in here. And then just go out and explore. And if uh, if we have find something interesting, we can come back and uh, place that in here. Look at it. It's cool. <laughs> also very detailed, these boxes. They, the models look really cool. Right. Building general storage. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of space, isn't it? Nice. Okay, now, before we quit, let me go over to that one other house. Um, where was it? Back here. It's not locked. So I can just open it. And then there is um, this thing. This is probably considered stealing. But there's the holy flame. Wooden ball. And these are also for free. These two bets here. And there's cac cacti. 
Small Emperor statue, bread, and a wrench. I think the items that I looted from here last time were actually different. Hmm. Interesting. Also wooden bowls. Can I open this? Hold down the Alt key to pick the lock. 14% chance. Oh, you just will keep trying and it will get better? Oh, I do like that. Now, this will take ages. Yeah, this will take ages. Oh my god. Is that, Do we have a skill? Oh yeah, we have a skill called lockpicking. Is this deliberately here to skill you up in lockpicking? Is that very deliberately placed here exactly for that? And also, oh, there we go, success. I also like it that, um, basically, that it gets better. Oh, hold on, what do we have here? Stealing chance. Oh, 100%. Okay, damaged book. Ludens report. Pardon of, of an official report with the Holy Nation seal. High Paladin Luden reports his patrol. As ordered by Commander Nix, we investigated the hop. Fortunately, there was no sign of enemy troops. It appears they all have deserted the region, but before doing so, the blasted fools sacked the settlement and set it up. Oh, that's why it all is all fucked up. The hub is nothing but ruins. Mostly bu most buildings are ready to collapse. Entire sections of the wall have been destroyed. Retaking the hub would be effortless, but res resettling it will prove most difficult. It appears the troops uh, occupied the town for some time, giving that nobody were found inside. But we still don't know what made the Shek savages abandon. Oh, so this was owned by the Shek before, huh? Oh god, there's a lot of it. You know what, we'll just... For, for now, we'll take this with us, okay? Whatever it was, is pretty useless now. Well, good to know. What a jog. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll just leave this here. Alright, so we got a little bit of history there. Maybe we'll read some more next time. I'm just gonna dump this these stolen goods in my chest. See uh, if that is uh, a problem. <laughs> Somebody will figure out that I stole this. Uh... Also, that Emperor statue, what is that all about? I mean, it looks like a stupid wooden puppet. Small sculpture of the Holy Nation's Emperor. Well, he looks bland, doesn't he? <laughs> then, oh, we got bread, so that's good. That has uh, some nutrient values. Now, the cactuses don't. Now, I wonder, is are these for um, basically uh, seeding? You know, do you use these to, to plant stuff? And then we got this book, The Holy Flame, a religious book of the Holy Nation. Every citizen have to, has to has one by law. Okay, the Holy Nation really sounds like some creepy authoritarian holy state. All right, let's keep that. And a wrench. I'm not sure what we do with that, but I'll keep it for now. All right, cool. So, um, I'm not 100% not sure what we'll do next time. Maybe some exploring. Maybe we'll just do some more mining and hire ourselves a companion. As there's some goats traveling to our town. That's how exciting it gets in the hub here. Oh. Dust bandits. Somebody who's about to collapse over here. <laughs> oh well. Yes, so um, not sure what we'll do next time. I mean, if you have a, a an idea, just let me know. If you want me to do something special. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.